think maybe like this. Oh God, now what? Well, it's uh, no secret that I completely f***ed up my hair when I tried to give myself curtain bangs. And I really wish I did a better job. But until it grows out, there's absolutely no saving it. But that doesn't mean I can't try. I have here, in my hands, a selection of hair curling tools from Wish. It's been a while since I did a good Wish haul. So uh, when I saw comments from people telling me that I needed to invest in a better hair curler than this one, I decided, you know where I could definitely get a better hair curler than the Ceramic Baby Bliss Pro? Wish. That's where I'll get a better one. This one is called Hot Airbrush. I think that's the name of it. Either that or the name is One Machine for Multi-Purpose Use. I got this terrifying thing called a Cordless Automatic Curler. You can't tell me that doesn't look like a black hole where hair goes to die. I got this professional three rod curlers, which is most certainly not the one that Khloe Kardashian was promoting on her Instagram the other day. Definitely not. And finally, the safest one of all, silk hair curlers as seen on TikTok. I'm gonna save this one for another day because I feel like it needs a video of its own. I need to sleep using this for several nights. So we'll circle back to this one. But as far as these three go, the way that I think I'm going to do things is I'm gonna try the hot air brush first. This seems to be the one that I would probably use the most if it actually works. People were leaving a lot of comments for me saying I had to invest in one of these. And sure, I could have invested in a branded one, but this was very affordable and uh, I've got to keep as much money set aside as I can for Christmas presents. Once I've brushed my hair out with that, I'm going to give the cordless one a try. And then if I have any hair left at all, we'll use this one. So product number one, the hot air brush. On the back of the box here, it says faster drying, less damage. The brush helps to reduce moisture of hair for faster drying and less damage. It also reduces frizz and static which makes hair soft and shiny. 360 ventilation opening design ensures evenly heat distribution. Fast, dry, and smooth your hair without worry. The 360 swiveling power cord allows hairstylists to move freely without breaking down the power cord. Very convenient and considerate design. Very comfortable to hold and convenient to use. Flexible and tangle-free bristles. It can smoothen, style, and dry hair in a short time, while the brush massage ballpoint can gently massage the scalp. If it leaves me looking like that, that'll be the best Christmas present I could ever have wished for. I was very surprised to see that this actually came with an instruction manual. <laughs> it says interchangeable hot air system, one year replacement and two year warranty. I don't know how that holds up on Wish. Does Wish guarantee the warranties of products? I, I would think not. So apparently the breakdown of this device is, this is the cool tip, so I should be able to touch the tip with no worries. Just the tip though, you only want to touch the tip. That is the only cool thing about this product, just the tip. It's got a non-detachable brush head, and I don't know if that's a feature or a hindrance. It's got these innovative airflow vents, a lightweight ergonomic design, multiple heat settings, and the professional swivel cord. Tourmaline technology of negative ions for healthier hair, ultra lightweight body, quiet and powerful 1000 watt motor, 60% faster drying time. Faster than what? Air drying? Towel drying? I have questions. Two speed settings and three heat differences for total control. Ceramic heater. Ceramic? What? That's plastic. How? What does that? Ceramic heater? Prior to plugging in, check the voltage on the rating label. Well, I was really surprised to see that they had options on Wish for Australian plug, UK plug, and US plug. I didn't expect that. Look at me shamelessly plugging Wish. As a general guide, use the high speed setting for rough drying for thicker hair and the middle setting for finer and more precise control. The low setting can be used at the end to set the style. Start at the back of the head when drying your hair and work forward. So I guess that's saying start back here and just pull it to the front. Is that what that would mean? Do not concentrate the airflow on any one area for an extended period of time. You know what? As uh, obvious as that may sound, I'm really glad that it said that because I'm a numpty as far as hairstyling goes and I would probably fry what's left of my spiderwebs. Start with a low setting first to test the right temperature for your scalp. During the first few minutes of initial use, you may notice smoke and a slight odor. 
This is normal and will quickly disappear. Oh good. I'm pretty sure smoke is never normal. So, without further ado, let's plug this in and hope that it doesn't explode. I'm gonna move the aerosols away from the power outlet. It's been nice knowing you guys. We have a blue light indicating it's in the off position. Let's go. I'm sorry, can I just, uh, just, just... Quiet and powerful. Quiet. All right, so the low setting. If you take your hand and you go, that's how hot it is. I feel like that's not gonna do very much. Let's try medium. All right, so you break down on the side of the road and uh, you open the bonnet of your car and you're looking in to see what the problem is and it feels really, really hot. That's how hot that is. Let's try high. All right, so it's not as hot as an actual hairdryer. If I got my normal hairdryer and just held it in front of my face, I would literally burn myself. I would have blisters. This, I could just, if I was cold, I could just sit and be like, ah, yes, toasty on my face. So it's not terrifying. I was a little bit worried. I was like, am I gonna burn my hair? Is something bad gonna happen? It's actually very pleasant. And you know what? We all know that I have damaged my hair beyond repair. Although when I do my I tried Olaplex for a month video, we'll see about that. But I can't apply excessive heat to my hair. So this is actually quite nice. The heat that is coming off this is really not that bad. Now, the instructions only said to start at the back of the head and it didn't say anything else. So I don't know if it's meant to be from the back down or from the back forward. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna use it on high because it really wasn't that hot. Has a little bit of Velcro on it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. This is the best thing ever. The best. This is game changing. Alex, it's 2021. How are you only just hearing about this now? I've been living in a cave. There was a thing on here where it said something about massage. It can smooth and style and dry hair in a short time while the brush massage ballpoint can gently massage the scalp. When I read that, I was like, ah, yeah, yeah. No, actually, it's really interesting because the bristles are really, really flexible. Look. See how like super bendy that is? And when you sort of touch it to your head and you push it against your scalp, they really easily submit, they bend under your will. And it actually, how do I explain this? It, they sort of, I know, have you ever seen one of these things? You know, and you put your hand into it and it, it that, that's what it feels like. You know how satisfying that is when you get one of those and you just stick your hand into it and you're like, oh, it's like, sensory enjoyable that's what this is like like touching it on my head they're kind of like bending and conforming to the shape of my skull and it's literally like a scalp massage you know i could indeed take the ad revenue from this video and invest it in buying more expensive one of these but i'm so very happy with this already i've only used it on one half of my head for like 30 seconds and i really like it so much and the only reason that i would seek to buy a more expensive one or a branded one would be if this broke. Like if, I if I'm using this every single day and let's say after a couple of weeks it breaks, I'll let you guys know. I'll come back and I'll put a, a thing in the description box of the video and I'll just say, hello, this is an update from February, 2022 and it broke or something. At which point it's definitely better to invest in the better quality one from the beginning. Cause if you keep cycling through cheap things and they keep breaking, it's a waste, it's wasteful, it's a waste of money, it's a waste of product, it's wasteful for the environment. So better to invest in something that's good quality from the get go if the thing isn't going to last. So I will keep you guys updated, but at the moment I really, really, really like this. I'm gonna give it a try, maybe like trying to twist it. There's a little bit of a kick, <laughs> like the, the tiny little kick that my inflexible legs can do. It's just a little bit of a kick. It's holding a shape. 
Dyson Who. So speaking of Dyson, this is something that reminds me of Dyson. I know that they have those products that sort of suck your hair into them. Hopefully this one will give my hair back. It's 34 watts, continuous work time up to an hour, ceramic coated curl chamber with a diameter of 19 mil, LCD display, temperature regulator 150 to 200 degrees Celsius, curls direction switch left or right, time regulator of styling 8 to 18 seconds, audible indication system, PTC heater, USB charger, power bank function. This is the curling chamber here. This is the start button, the LCD display, power on and off, adjustment, and then apparently when the screen is on, it'll show left or right, the temperature, heating, battery, and timer. Down the bottom is the micro USB input and then the normal USB output, and also it's rose gold and pink. There were different color options, but of course I, I had to get this one to match my pink bathroom. <laughs> now in the box, there's a cone, two little hair clips, power cord, which is a micro USB on one side and a standard USB on the other. And instructions, yes. There is something so very Dyson about this entire thing. It says power bank. Take a USB cable to connect USB output. The other terminal will connect your device. And then it's got a little drawing of an iPhone. And it says supports and it's got like a phone and a tablet and a I don't know, a Kindle in an old iPod? Is it saying it needs to be plugged into a phone to work? No, no, surely not. No, oh, is it saying that you can charge your phone with this? Can, you can use this as a power bank? Is that, is that what it's saying? Like I carried this in my handbag and my phone runs out of battery and I plug it into my hairdryer? Press and hold power on off for two seconds to turn on appliance until you hear a beep and the LCD display is on. That's the start button, you f***ing fool. Press the power button for two seconds to turn it on. Ah, oh, there's the beep. All right, the little LCD screen is flashing. Hold for two seconds to turn it off. If you forget to turn off the appliance, it'll shut itself off automatically after 10 minutes. Well, that's good. I didn't expect any product from Wish to have built-in safety features like that, so that's quite nice. Press menu and choose temperature and timer by one press of the adjustment. Did anything happen? Is something happening? Nothing's happening. Press menu. Oh, oh, the power button has a double function. When you hold it down, it's power, but when you press it once, it's menu. Ah, oh, I see. So press menu and then you choose the temperature with this. No? Come on, give me a break. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's 150 to 200 degrees Celsius, and for those of you too lazy to Google it, 150 is 302 Fahrenheit, 200 is 392 Fahrenheit. How your system makes any sense at all, I will never understand. So once again, I'm gonna start on the lowest heat setting because I don't trust this thing. When you press through the menu, so this one you see temperature flashing, then it's left and right, then you can actually change the uh, degrees. So you can do Celsius or Fahrenheit. There you go. The last one is time. And apparently you can choose eight seconds all the way through to 18 seconds. The battery indicator is telling me I've still got three bars of battery. So fresh out of the box, I didn't have to charge it or anything and it's got some battery in it. And it says appliance starts to heat following your temperature settings. Oh yeah. Oh, there is a bit of heat in there on that like ceramic plate on the inside. Ah. Oh. Heating symbol will blink when heating. Once it reaches your temperature setting, the symbol will stop blinking and you will hear beep beep. I didn't hear a beep beep. The heating symbol is not flashing. Does that mean it's already at 160? What is going on here? All right, I've got it on the highest setting. Ah, there we go. The heating symbol is flashing, see? All right, so it stopped flashing, but it didn't beep beep at me. There was no beep beep. It says once it reaches your temperature setting, it'll stop blinking and you will hear beep beep. Why no beep beep? All right, so let's start this off at 150 Celsius, 300 Fahrenheit. So comb through the hair to remove any tangles and divide the hair into sections no more than two centimeters wide. All right, now this is what gets me. I really hate when there's a recipe or instructions of any sort and it's like, cut the potatoes into one centimeter squares. And I'm like, what is a two centimeter width of hair? See, I'm worried now because what if that's too wide? Lay the section of hair through the curling chamber. 
and hold down the start button to activate the motor to draw the hair into the curling chamber. Into the chamber of secrets. Or the chamber of screeches if it goes badly. So what, just like this? Nothing happened. It's not sucking my hair in. Or am I meant to actually put it in there? I think maybe like this? <gasps> oh God. Now what? function is. I have, the timer goes between 8 seconds and 18 seconds because that's how long the little strand is in there for. Right, okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> that was like 2 seconds and it did that. So let's set it to 8 because the timer was just set to 18 so that's why it was beeping for so long. Time, 8 seconds. Uh-huh. Now what? Now what? What did I do wrong? Oh. Please release the start button when you hear the first beep. In other words, don't panic when it starts beeping. Oh my god, look, it still, it still did a curl. I didn't even do it properly and it still curled it. Okay, we're gonna do it properly this time, okay? Hold down the start button until you hear the beep. Okay? That is really annoying. And it's so close to my ear. Why did it stop? Why did it stop? That wasn't eight seconds. Oh, maybe eight seconds starts from the moment that it's curling. That must be it. But look, look, look at that. <laughs> what the f <laughs> some lo-fi beats for you and uh, please sit back and relax while I curl one half of my head using the Wish Wireless Hair Curler. Why is it beeping? I didn't press anything. I did not press a single thing, it's just beeping at me. It turned off. Why did it turn off? Oh, it's got one bar of battery left. So it had three at the start, so it's got one left. Oh, it's beeping at me now. Why are you beeping? Stop beeping. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. It turned off again. Damn it! I had two strands left. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to charge it. Okay, we've got a battery charging symbol. Good. Well, seeing as it's quarter to three now, and the thrift store that I want to go to today closes at four, I really need to hurry up and get my hair done so I can go out. So I'm not going to wait for that one to charge. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see what my hair looks like finished curling with that. But what I've done so far, I'm ridiculously, ridiculously happy with. I have never had such an easy experience curling my hair in my entire life. I love curling my hair and I never do it because it's so time consuming and my arms get really sore because I'm always standing there with both arms like this and I get really really tired and I feel like it takes a really long time and then half the time I end up with a kink from like this thing it leaves a kink in my hair so that was so easy this was with the lowest heat setting and also the lowest amount of time so that was eight seconds in total and it goes all the way up to 18 so imagine if I did like a higher heat setting in a longer time, I feel like I'd get even stronger curls, but I don't actually need to do that. Because my hair is quite damaged, I'm more than happy to use it on that lower setting and to just take what I get. And look at that. I missed a couple of spots because my strands weren't perfect. If I brush it out, look at that. Brushed out. 
It still looks really pretty. <gasps> I've had a lot of wish videos that have gone terribly wrong. Not today. Let's hope I haven't spoken too soon because we do still have this. So the professional three rod curlers. Unique design, arbitrary. <laughs> Let your hair more elegant. This product is refined by a special ceramic glazes. The nanotechnology surface treatment does not hurt the hair and shiny hair benefit. Heating elements are imported, greatly improving efficiency in the use curlers. Barber fever, fast, easy operation. Good. High quality, high temperature insulation material, stainless steel stent, LCD screen, a more convenient control of temperature, 360 degree winding tail line, which does not wind anywhere near as well as the one from the brush. That one just spun really easily. This one is, I, it's essentially useless. This one does not come with instructions. I'm assuming because it's very straightforward. Because I don't want to go out with two completely different curl styles, I'm going to use my trusty friend to just make this side straight. All right, I'm having quite a hard time uncurling these curls. The stay power. I'm really, really, really impressed. So let's do this side of my head, but also can we just take a moment to appreciate the difference? Look at that, the untouched side, the touched side. That's quite a difference. Hear me out. If I had cut my bangs properly, or if a professional had cut my bangs, my hair would look quite nice right now. I feel like these things, these products, are gonna change my hair game. The reason that I always look so janky on camera is because I just cannot be bothered to style my hair because it's so time consuming, it's painful because I always get sore arms from doing it, and it, looking polished doesn't mean that much to me. But both of those products are ridiculously easy to use. I... <sighs> Even the side that I used the curler on, and then I went over it with this, it's still wavy. It's still wavy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Now, let's try this bad boy. <sighs> All right, product number three. You know what they say, third time's a charm. Here you go. All right, it says off, and because it didn't come with instructions, I'm going to assume it's very straightforward, and that I just press the middle button, which has a power symbol on it, Okay, it says 180 Celsius. Oh, oh, that's cool. Look, look, it's going up in real time. It's actually showing what temperature it's at right now. That's very cool. All right, we're at 180, which is the lowest temperature. This little one's lowest temperature was 150 Celsius. So for this one to be 180, it's that little bit higher. So this thing is really, really wide. Like, look how wide it is. So I, I kind of feel like, am I just supposed to take an entire thing like this and put it all the way across. Maybe? How, what do you reckon is the most efficient way to do this? Ouch, I think I burnt myself. How long do you reckon? One, two, seven, eight. So that's as long as I left the other one. All right, yes, there is, there is a wave. So I don't know if I'm using too big a strand of hair, or if I'm not using a high enough temperature, or if I'm not holding it for long enough. I feel like it's not the amount of time and it's not the temperature because we proved that my hair could hold a curl with the other product. So I think I might just be putting too much hair in at once. All right, let's just start small. Seven, eight. Hmm. I think I know what the problem is. Look at this. Do you see? The gap. Do you see just in there? The plate is not actually making contact with the uh, shaft. The only part of this that's actually giving the, the wave is the middle bit, I think, because that's really the only part that's sort of having any pressure where the hair is actually sort of sitting against it. So because of that, I'm gonna go a little bit warmer. Now this goes all the way up to 210 Celsius. I'm gonna put it on its hottest setting Seeing as if my hair's not even making proper contact with it. It's three minutes past three, so I only have maybe, maybe 20 minutes to do what I'm gonna do to my hair. 
and then I really got to run out the door. All right, it's 11 minutes past three. So that took me eight minutes and that's what it looks like. It's, um, oh, did I miss a spot? I did, didn't I? Oh, I missed an entire spot. Sorry, please hold. All right, there we go. So my initial thoughts are that I hate it. I burnt myself like five times. The edges of this are so hot and that little thing, the little stand sticks out really far and I, I like singed my cheek a couple of times. So the design, it's really big and clunky. So not such a fan of that, but that did only take me eight minutes and my hair looks pretty good. Give it a quick spray. All right, let's see. I'm gonna put on an eight minute timer and see if I can beat my record with the right side of my head. <laughs> Three minutes and 26 seconds left on my timer. I did that side a lot faster than I did the other side because I just, I, I simply do not have the time. You can see that this side looks a lot thinner because I used less strands of hair, as in like I made the strands bigger. Hit it with some hairspray. All right, it's 20 past three, I have to go. I'm gonna grab a thrifted outfit. Okay, thrifted cardigan, thrifted skirt from Zara and a thrifted belt and I'm ready to go. 3.23, Ooh, they close in 30 minutes. Excellent time for me to not be able to find my glasses. Dan? 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 Okay, contacts it is. God, I hate contact lenses. Shh. Come on. Get off my finger. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, that's it. Time to go. I don't have time to pick a cool pair of shoes. So I'm just gonna try these. These are also thrifted. I don't think I turned the hair curler off. I'm uh, just calling Dan and he's not answering. Crap. I'm gonna have to pull over and call him on our intercom. Hi, hon, I think I forgot to turn off my hair curler. Uh, it's in the pink bathroom upstairs. Uh, I really hope you get this. I'm going to try and call our own doorbell. I'm gonna try and use termites? our intercom. What, termites? No, no, I said I think I forgot to turn the what? hair curler off. It's in the bathroom upstairs. find some Christmas decorations from a thrift store. So, hopefully, oh, are they still open? Yes! Yeah, boy! Whew. I literally have two of these at home. Dan's mum gave them to us for Christmas. I can't believe they're here. Wow, that is so, that's so beautiful. What the fuck, it's so heavy. Oh my God, how much are you? $50, I want it. Wow, look at that suitcase. Oh, 
my god. Um, is that orchid there for sale? Yeah. Oh, could I get that too, please? Thank you. these flowers they're like the ones you have in the I other know. room <laughs> yeah i couldn't believe it when i walked in i was like this is what i have oh fuck. that's chunky hang on if you take that aha aha ta-da what a blessing can you put the bookcase in the garage i'm going to give it a quick sand oh okay i'm going to do it up yep <laughs> how did you even get that in there look it fits like a finger in a nose that's impressive. That's really pretty. Isn't it amazing? It's Thank so you. cool. It's did so you know, cool. Did you know that you were going to get this when you went? No, I had no idea. Oh. I just saw it on the floor. It was only $25. But do you have the keys? Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, wait. It was open. It was unlocked. Oh my god, the girls locked it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Did the girls locked it. Did they give you the key? I don't know, maybe it's in that plastic bag. <gasps> no, 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 And here are the two that Dan's mum gave me. So she gave these to us for Christmas last year. These are identical when you look at the color and you look at the top of them, but obviously they're a little bit shorter. So I think that they're just one size down. But it's funny because whenever we have guests, I normally don't use these. I normally just wait until it's Dan and I alone at dinner. So that way we're serving out of the exact same glasses. But now we've got glasses for Sam and Michelle and Tiasha and Millie. I'm a few days late, but I've 
finally started decorating. I'll show you guys the things that I got. I really feel like it's my lucky day. I'm so happy with everything that I bought from our Vinnie's just then. I'm so happy. Fake orchids like this can be anywhere up to $200, depending on how big they are and depending on the texture of them. This one feels a little bit old and it's a little bit dusty, so it does need a clean. But it's got the fake aerial roots and it's got a few ferns around here too and there's its nice big thick leaves. This was only $7. I can't believe it. I got these guys in Thriftmas last year and I put a lampshade on top of the vase. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like that, but it just, it looks really, really cool. The vase was $50 and that's uh, very reasonable for something like this. This was 10, which is crazy because I actually own this and I got it from Freedom. And I think it was about 50 from memory. This little guy, $4. I love that so much. Got that during Christmas last year, that during Christmas last year. Each box of these was $3 and I got three boxes. Thrifted this last year up oh, and I never took the tag off it. That was two. They're also from last year. This long cherry blossom stem was $6 and this, which is my favorite find for only $12. That's ridiculous because I actually have one of these sitting on my Amazon wish list and they're about 50 bucks for a nice one of those. And that's absolutely beautiful. I couldn't resist the sparkly watch. It was 10. These, these were $2 and the incredible suitcase was 25. My favorite thing that I did was decorate my wall clock using this, which I thrifted last year. I had this on my Christmas tree last year but I, I think I'll leave it on the clock, although it, I don't know if it looks quite right. So I may remove that, put that on the Christmas tree and get something else for the clock. But that's for another episode. So it's about 6 p.m. now and I'm gonna sit down and start editing this video so that I can upload it tonight. I'm really interested to see how long these waves last in my hair. So I'm not gonna do anything to my hair just yet. I'm just gonna sit down, edit, have dinner, relax for the night, and then we'll check back in much later to see how it's all looking. Oh boy, it is 3.25 in the morning and I just finished editing. <laughs> and now I'm filming the outro and my hair, well, it's it hasn't budged. It's still exactly what it was earlier today when I was out and about shopping. It looks exactly the same. So my final thoughts as far as the um, curling products goes, the cordless one is hands down my favorite. Tomorrow I'm going to curl my entire head using that for Thriftmas day six. I will use the wavy one because I own it. I will most certainly use it and I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out but I definitely have to learn to use it a little bit more cautiously because now I have quite a few tender spots on my face because I burnt myself pretty bad. The first product that I opened which was the brush that is going to be a staple of mine now that air wave brush. It's one of my favorite things that I've bought. It's so cool. So overall, I feel like this was a great success of a video. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.